You can be a professional deer stalker. You can take your stalking and deer management seriously enough to go out several times a week. You can even do it as part of a weekend away with friends. Helen Tinner is visiting her friend Gareth Maund, who runs the Lestrange shoot at Hunt Stanton in North Norfolk. Where we are at the moment, we're about a mile from the sea in uh, Old Hunt Stanton Park. It's been in the, in the same family for, I gather, about uh, a thousand years. My part of the estate is I run the, the game shoot and deer stalking simulated game days and that on the estate. Professional photographer Helen took up stalking relatively recently. You can watch her shoot her first roe muntjac fellow and Chinese water deer on Field Sports Channel. Up until now, she's been using a Browning X-Bolt rifle in 243 calibre. She especially likes having a true left-handed rifle with the bolt on the correct side for her left-handed shooting position. That rifle did well. Now she's bought another, an almost identical Browning, but in a bigger calibre. It's a 308 Browning, um, and I got this one because we're going up to Scotland soon, aren't we? Yep. To shoot um, red stag and um, seeker. Today she wants to check the zero on her new combination of X-Bolt with ATEC moderator Zeiss V6 scope and Hornady 165 grain ammo. Yeah, the grouping's OK. But they're just... In the wrong place. OK. So if we, went, if we moved it across... Why, why would that have gone out then since I've used it? It happens sometimes. Which way do you go? See, well, it's got a little arrow in Oh, there. right, so we want right. to go more to the left. Yeah. So I've just moved that six centimetres yeah. to the left. Oh, right. OK. Or I've moved it seven and one back. Should I do another one? Yeah, next one down. Oh. You're rushing. I know, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, that looked close. It was close. <laughs> it was just, that was just where the, where the cloud is. It was, it was just, just underneath. The, it was just at the bottom, slightly left. It affects those a lot more yeah. when you're shooting at range. With the combination zeroed, Gareth wants to get Helen out of her comfort zone, trying out some new shooting positions. Keep trying to get her comfortable in, get her used to different styles of stalking. And just trying to work with different things you might come across when you're out in the field, really. Whether it be sort of sat at the bottom of the tree or shooting off sticks or lying prone or... Range time over, Gareth has a couple of jobs to do before taking Helen out on a stalk. He leaves Helen to think over what she's learned. We just had um, had some game delivered earlier on today, so uh, I just had to disappear off and just check that was all all right. I said to Helen, uh, just keep your eyes out while we're, while we're waiting. You said you might see a muntjac moving down the side of the wood there. A lot of these woods have got sort of low bramble cover and that, which we use for the game shooting. And we get too many muntjac in here, they they just wipe that out. They just take all the leaves off. There he is. Oh my God, let's do it. Right, shall we go up to the bank then and shoot from the top? Confidence boosted by her earlier practice, Helen sets off on what is her first ever solo stalk. She moves to the top of the bank and gets down into a prone position to shoot off the bipod that's still attached to the rifle. It was a com I, it was a confident shot. I mean, I'm not jumping up and down and being all like excited and stuff because to me it's still like you're taking an animal, but I have to keep reminding myself that it is part of a cult. But you're still taking a life. But it'll make very nice eating now. 
this is what we're saying about confidence, isn't it, with your distance as well. That felt like a sort of comfortable distance and I could... Very similar to what we were shooting at targets. It was, yeah. probably roughly around the same. Yeah. <laughs> where was that? Over there, where you said. Top guy, do you see? <laughs> Absolutely. Good? Have you got your knife? No, it's back of the ranch, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, shot placement was good on that. Um, so obviously all the range work earlier on in the day paid off. You've got to do a twisty thing. Yeah, yeah up there like that. Helen is keen to learn about dealing with the carcass, from bleeding it in the field to gralicking, skinning and jointing. By the time we're done, it's well and truly dark. Gareth has one last surprise in store. He's cooked up a tasty meal with ingredients from the shoot, with slow-cooked partridge followed by blackberry and apple crumble. It's been amazing. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. For Browning Rifles, Zyscopes and even Hornady Ammunition, visit kitfinder.co.uk and you can find the Lestrange shoot on Instagram.